Hi there, good evening everyone, and welcome to yet another stream. And as you can see, I've been a bit daft, done something uh, to my hair again. So before we have any comments on that, I'll just put it out there. Good evening to Peter was first in today. Evening Peter, we've got Lego Man. Uh, Paul's in, evening Paul. And we've got the Appalachian Heritage Workshop. Claudio, hi Claudio. Great, so good to see you. Today I uh, had a call out to a neighbour on a lifeline system, so I, I've had a bit of a rush on. I had to go and rescue this elderly, uh, elderly um, neighbour who had fallen over his house. So I'm a bit unprepared, but uh, I've got enough stuff around to, to keep me going for a little while, I think. So I'm going to turn my attention, first of all, to the lamp, which I'd almost finished off last time, uh, and I have now finished. So let's go and have a look at that. So here it is, the finished lamp. I should turn the lights out for a moment so you can see what it's actually like on its own. Gives out a fair bit of light, uh, but not so much that it's uh, unbearable. And with other lights on, it works quite well, I think. Took me a while to complete the, the shavings, but as I went along, I got faster and faster at putting them on and it became a little bit easier. Overall, I'm pleased with it. It uh, was a nice surprise for the wife. She likes it, so she's, she's ha um, keen to have it in the house somewhere, so that's always good to know. Rather than put it in the dustbin, we'll be having that for a while. Now, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to it, although I did experiment a little bit, and I'll try and show you what it was I was doing. There we go, a bit closer. Now I was experimenting uh, with the shavings to see if I could make them more resilient. And I abused my bench hook, which I'm always doing, sawing through it, chopping on it. Well this time I stuck a shaving from the hook down to the, the back of it, so it was hanging loose there. Uh, and once that had cured, I put some cellulose dope on it, which when I was a kid we used to make planes uh, with the, the frames for the, the wings were covered in tissue paper and then we put cellulose dope on it and it would really tighten them up and, uh, and protect them. Well, for the shaving, it hasn't really tightened it up uh, along the grain, uh, maybe slightly across the grain, uh, but it's certainly a bit stiffer than it used to be. So that probably would be sensible if you needed to protect it from... Uh, animals and children. So, something that I might do to it, I'll, I'll have to think about it. Quite awkward to put it on now it's built, but uh, I'm sure I'd manage it somehow or other. So I'll see if you've got any questions on the lamp, and then we'll move on to the plane. I'm gonna start work on this plane. And uh, this evening I'm just gonna tear it down, because uh, I know some of you probably haven't seen a, a plane torn down before. And then, uh, I'll talk about how I'm going to clean bits of it and perhaps I'm going to start uh, renovating it. So let's see if anything's popped up in the old chat. I will put learners in as well, and I believe, is my memory right, is that Andy? Thanks Andy, glad you like it. Thanks Paul. Uh, Andy, I just put the single layer on, and testing it out with, even with the bulb that it's got in it, which is quite bright, it seems to actually work quite well. So I'm liking that. The shavings Lego man, they were attached uh, with PVA to the inside of the frames, top and bottom, 
and uh, well really you should go back and replay that stream to see all the details but it was really quite a struggle getting them on uh, as you imagine they are reasonably fragile and uh, you're working with something where the glue will actually go penetrate right through so it penetrates right through the shavings so you have to avoid um, getting your clamps or cools stuck to uh, to the lamp at the same time I'll also finish, if you didn't see it, I finished the um, little attachment to the whole lamp which was the um, finger jointed structure that I started building uh, earlier on uh, in the previous stream which I can possibly show you, let's just have a let's go back I'm struggling with switching uh, the actual scenes at the moment because uh, something went wrong and on the uh, program I use, but uh, let's have a look. If I tilt it towards you, you might be able to see. So inside we have, uh, obviously it's too bright, isn't it, with the light on? Let me turn it off. So we've got the, oops, there we go, the little finger jointed sort of U-shaped bracket and that just goes underneath the inside edges of the framework. So that was really what I covered in the last episode. So for today uh, I'm going to look at this plane, uh, tear it down. Hopefully you can see it. And if you haven't taken a plane apart before, you've only just used it as it's arrived to you and maybe swap the blade out. Um, you'll see everything today. We've got um, a broken handle to take off and we'll take the frog out. And we'll take everything apart and the sort of tools you're going to need will be screwdrivers, large and small, straight, flat bladed screwdrivers, uh, possibly some pliers. That's about it really. So we'll take the lever cap off, that's just switching the lever, and we'll assess it as we go. So this has got some spots of rust on the chromed lever cap, a um, little bit of rust underneath, not too much. We'll take a, the, uh, the front knob off. Always try and use a screwdriver which is a good fit to the, the screw you're undoing. And you may be able to see on here that the sides of the, the slot have been slightly broken. That's by using screwdrivers that don't quite fit properly. But we'll clean that up. That's fixed onto a post and it's, it's tight on that post. So I want to break that off if I can grab it tight. very tight so I shall soak that in some WD-40 and try it after a day or so. Knob comes off, knob feels really light so probably very dry. A lot of the finish is off it so we'll, we'll clean that up if we reuse that. Blade and chip breaker come out. Both, well certainly the chip breaker very rusty. Needs a bit of work on it. Undo the large screw on the back. And actually, because I want to clean it, I'll take that right off. Separate those. Not too bad on the inside. The iron itself. Actually, not too bad. Somebody's ground near the, uh, the front of the back on here, <laughs> the tip of the back, if that makes more sense. And that's actually very rough, so we'll need to, to do something to that, smooth it off, and make it a mirror polish right along the front edge. But otherwise it's not, it's not so bad, a bit of paint to take off and some rust up at the top end. 
Then the, the screw that holds the blade assembly in, that's screwed into the frog, that's coming out nice and easy. Now turn our attention to taking the frog out, which is the next bit. It's got a couple of flathead screws down here. That's loose. Always good. In fact, they were so loose, I'm surprised it held the frog tightly in there. Quite a lot of gunk on that. Um, probably a build up of any oil that's been put on the blade to stop it from rusting and all the shavings, sawdust, etc. Probably some paint given the amount of paint on the rest of the plane. So we'll take the screws out of that, clean those up, and we'll clean up the frog. The other thing I, I normally take off the frog is the spin wheel, so we'll Spin that up, that get to a point where that comes off so we can clean that up. Uh, we can take out this stud, but I don't normally think that's worthwhile. Uh, I can take out the frog adjustment catch here, clean that up. That's probably as far as I'll take it. You can take off uh, by grinding down this rivet, the lateral adjuster. And you can also knock out a pin through here, which allows the yoke to come away. But unless I need to do that to get in and clean it, then I shan't bother. I'll leave it as it is. I'll just have a, a little look under here to see there's no evidence at the moment that it's ever been um, fitted after factory to the rest of the body of the plane. So that would be something I'll check out to make sure it seats nicely in the, uh, in the base of the plane. So go for the rear handle now, it's often called the tote in the States. The top of that one's come off, the stub is loose, so we'll take that out. So a handle, just see what sort of break it has, it's, it's a reasonably good break, goes together with hardly anything at all missing. So it would be possible to effect a repair to that and what I would do probably is try to put some sort of loose tenon between these two, so maybe a dowel pin um, towards the rear of it there, if I could get those aligned and it would actually be possible, possibly, to get a maybe half an inch of dowel in both ends without affecting the hole through to attach it to the base. But I may not be using that. I've got some other thoughts. The last thing that comes off is the actual frog adjustment screw. It's sitting in the back here. And that's rock solid, so I'll have to put some WD-40 on that as well. So that's tearing it apart. Uh, the next process would be cleaning some of these bits up. So I get all the sawdust, shavings, all the grease, uh, various muck off it, everything. And then it would be looking to take the rust off. And a lot of the rust is going to be uh, cleaned off with sandpaper, maybe some scotch bright and Meths or something, nice, nice to have a, a fluid in there to help things move away. Uh, the actual lever cap, once that rust is just knocked off, I can take some water salt to that to polish it up. Clean the body out. And then for cleaning the base on here, a couple of techniques. 
Um, one is obviously to sand it, another one is to scrape it. And I think I'll probably try scraping this time. It's not something I've done before, uh, but I've seen it done very effectively. So you may see that coming up. So that's tearing down the plane. That's something that will be following in future streams, probably just as a little part of the stream, depending on what stage I've got to, because I'm going to be um, filming the whole process uh, for a pre-recorded video to come out, so an edited um, sort of streamlined video showing everything that goes into it all in one go. But uh, it would be nice to do it, do little bits during the stream where you'll be able to ask me questions as I'm doing it. So I don't know if you've got any thoughts about that. Any possible ideas? Let's have a quick look through. Oh, the chat virtually stopped when I went to the plane. Excellent. Uh, what about heat from the bulb and fire? The bulb's a long way away from the, um, the actual lamp and uh, it's a low energy bulb which I can hold all day long in my hand and it doesn't burn me so I've got no issues at all with fire. Not being used much unless it's a newer blade. You know, talking about the number three here, um, it could be it could be a replacement blade in there. But um, who knows? Who can tell? I may find something out when I clean it off. It may have some marks on it that that lead to some sort of dating. But I'm not um, I'm not someone who knows all about dating planes. So an idea from Lego Man for flattening plane blades. Just take a stick of wood, mark the blade crosswise onto the wood, chop it out away from the lines and tap the blade in place. Gives you a nice handle. Oh yeah, I, I get you. Yeah. And Andy has found just gluing, I guess there's a handle here, is strong enough as the bolt clamps the tote together too. I would, until probably a year ago, I would have said the same, but one that I repaired just with a glue uh, line in it did fracture on me this year. So uh, the thing is, although it's got a bolt through it holding it together, Throughout the season, as as the atmosphere as the atmosphere changes, that wood can shrink uh, and expand. If it expands, it holds it together more firmly. But if it shrinks, it can loosen up, and then a little bit of effort on the handle, you could break it. Peter, I haven't seen your scrub plane yet on unplugged. Um, I shall try and remember to go straight to that after this. I think I said that last time and, and something got in the way. Uh, what brand plane is it? It's a Stanley. And um, let me try and show you a bit more. If anyone's into planes, they may be able to, may be able to date these sorts of things. So if I just give you a quick glance on the other screen. There, I think the the lettering around the front handle is something aficionados often talk about being out of date from. So have a look at that, and then the made in England in there as well. So if anyone knows anything about dating planes and can tell anything from those details, you know, just let us know.
And Paul's saying it's difficult to date the English made ones. I'll take your word for it, Paul. I certainly don't know. And uh, Andy's saying post war. Post A war, definitely. So, what I was saying about maybe doing a little bit of the plain um, renovation in each live stream or, or within live streams as we go forwards rather than it being the main topic. Does anyone think that might be a good idea or would they like to see a stream particularly based on, the, on doing the plane? I'll leave that in the air because I know it takes about 20 30 seconds for me to actually get a response for whatever I'm asking because of the latency on this, this thing. But uh, I shall check that out. Well, the other thing I was going to say is if you are sanding, and you may have seen in the background just now the uh, granite plate that I've got there, one way of Flattening the sole on a plane is to use a granite plate and put some sandpaper either stuck down on it or clamped at each end, just running the plane backwards and forwards on it and then working through the grits uh, once you've flattened it. So if I get in trouble, I may use that method. So oh, Lego Man would like to see a full plane based stream. Okay, well let's see if anyone else has got any ideas. If you don't get it in the chat this evening, uh, or if you're watching this on catch up, do state your preference in the comments and I'll try to follow along with what you'd like. If I do a whole plane based stream or set of streams, then it will be relatively slow because I'll be recording it um, for the edited video at the same time because I can't do the same operation twice uh, to film it and see it on stream so it's gonna, I'll have to do the whole thing and film it at the same time as streaming which may just delay things a little bit I think you're probably right Paul that it is somewhere between 1933 and 1970. Okay, well, gentlemen, that's really all I've got for you this evening before I get stuck into the new, the new topic. So uh, I shall probably draw to a close now and that will stop you getting bored. It will allow me to return to my drink, which you may have seen on the bench, and uh, enjoy the rest of my evening. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, I just remind you that tomorrow is Thursday, Thursday night at half past eight GMT. You can catch Bench Talk 101. Uh, join the, the Zoom conversation with other woodworkers. And you can get a link for that in uh, their Instagram page, so check out Bench Talk 101 on Instagram, and you can also find them on Facebook, and they've got a YouTube channel. Okay then folks, thanks for dropping by, see you soon.